this past week, I was at Rooster Teeth Expo when I spy with my little eye, Knox. Into was hosting a feature booth and boy howdy, I can't resist a good piece of tech on the road. I had the opportunity to chat with one of the engineers at the show about the product. They gave me the rundown on why the Hades Canyon is the ideal PC for the on-the-go professional, traveling gamer, and special events like RTX. Without further ado, I'd like to introduce you to something known as a bare bones mini PC. This is the hobbit of the computer world. Small, quiet, versatile, out to destroy dark lords and such. You know, that whole bit. Intel has coined the term for these small factor PCs, which they call next unit in computing. And you see, that's what we call them Nux. I know what you're gonna say. This thing is so tiny, so small, microscopic. Yeah, it is, that's kind of the point. With a lot of punch packed into the sleek compact case, this is a Hades Canyon Nux. These little gems provide convenience through its form factor and customizability. Being a bare bones kit means it does not include an operating system, storage drives, or RAM. Thankfully, our fellowship here at Memory Express has you covered. You have my SSD. And my OS. And my RAM. I hope you enjoy my retelling of Fellowship of the Ring for the NUC. We have two options available for the Hades Canyon NUC. One lower end model and one higher end model. While both are equipped with an Intel quad core i7 CPU and an AMD Radeon GPU, the devil is in the details. The lower end model maxes out its CPU at 4.1 GHz, a whole 100 MHz less than its big brother that reaches 4.2 GHz at boost. And did we mention the higher end model is also unlocked? If we look more closely, this time at the AMD side of things, that is, the GPU, the lower end model, also has a slightly lower base clock of 931 MHz, boosting up to 1011 MHz, and with just two gigabytes of video memory. On the higher end model, we can see a base clock of 1063 MHz, boosting up to 1190 MHz, and four gigabytes of special type of high bandwidth video memory, also known as HBM2. When you're gaming, every frame counts, so we're diving into the higher end Hades Canyon. This NUC features an RX Vega MGH, which performs similarly to a desktop equivalent GTX 1650. This tiny NUC from the Shire is gaming ready. Shadows of Mordor, we're coming for you. You hear that, Sauron? Cella Brimbor, Lord of Light, you're toast. We're ready for an adventure. Love the idea of a tiny, gaming computer, but you want more of that juice. With the power of Thunderbolt 3 at your fingertips, you can connect to any eGPU with a modern day graphics card. Both models have the exact same footprint, inputs and outputs. So small, much connects. Wow. On the front right here, we have a single USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type-C port capable of up to 10 gigabits. Then 3.1 Gen 2 Type-A port, also capable of up to 10 gigabits. Yellow high power USB 3.1 Gen 1 Type-A port capable of up to five gigabits. The HMA on the front is meant to be used with VR headsets. There's also an audio combo jack for stereo headphones with a microphone. Lastly, we have a much appreciated built-in SD XC card reader, a dream for editing photos quickly. On the back of the NUC, it's got even more glorious ports. We've got two Thunderbolt 3 ports. And by the way, these same ports can also be used as USB Type-C devices for up to 10 gigabits. Carry on, we have a total of four USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports running at the five gigabits each. We have one HDMI port and two main display ports. Whoa, that's a lot of displays for ethernet still has blessed us with twin gigabit ports. And tucked away over here, we have a Toslink connector capable of up to 7.1 surround sound, crisp, clear, optical audio. Now a reminder, this thing looks like a level 100 necromancer ready to battle. But before battle, you gotta gear up before you start smashing orcs. I mean, you can't just smash them with your fists unless you're a barbarian. But anyways, for RAM, both models await your choice of DDR Sodom RAM running at least 2400 MHz, configurable up to a maximum of 32 gigs. Next, we can deck our NUC with not one, but two blazing fast M.2 SSDs. Both slots are capable of supporting either SATA and or PCIe based M.2 SSDs. On the top cover of the NUC, we have a thermal pad that helps transfer heat away from the M.2 SSDs. Big and cooling, we have two big fans that occupy the entire bottom half of the device to keep the NUC at optimal temperatures. When you're ready to boot, choose your OS wisely with either Windows 10 Home or Pro Edition. Now you've got the RAM, you've got the OS, you've got your SSDs. You're ready to use your new Hades Canyon. Use it for what, you ask? 
Well, maybe you're a wise day trader who needs all the real estate on their desk for multiple displays. Or maybe you're a security firm constantly monitoring and recording directly to Nest. Or maybe you're just a human or a hobbit in need of a tiny form factor PC that happens to have a sweet RGB skull on top that's perfect for a home media center or some casual 1080p gaming or extreme 4K YouTube watching. I'm really surprised Smog hasn't broken the studio to steal this thing yet and has come looking to add it into its collection of sweet gold. Visit your friendly neighborhood Memory Express to get your best knuck for your needs. We're like the Rivendell of computer hardware or a dwarven vault of treasure. The high-end Intel knuck Hades Canyon comes in at $1,300 Canadian and regularly goes on sale, so keep an eye out. The lower-end model is $1025 Canadian. If you're looking for something a bit less extreme but just as small, Oh, we also have the Intel Nug Crimson, which is worth checking out. So show us some love by hitting that sub button and ring that bell notification to never miss a video. Follow us on social media. Facebook and Twitter are the same at Memory Express. Instagram is a little weird because we can Anyway, it's official Memory Express. All right, friends, and our MEXP prize for the month is the 240 hertz 27 inch monitor by Zowie. You guys know how this all works. Remember to comment all the videos for the month of July for your chance to win. And just like that, Oh, all right, we have to announce the winner for June's MEXP, where they're gonna win a fabulous prize. Congrats, Commander Sander, you won yourself the title of Cool Master. And with that, you get the rank of B650 Gold PSU and the Hyper 212 Black Edition. For all your cooling needs, it's pretty sweet. So friends, until the next video, I will see you next time. Goodbye. I'm not funny. <laughs> There's the joke. I'm the joke. Roast it. Actually, I got a good one. You ready? What's green and fuzzy, and if it falls off a tree, will kill you? What? A pool table. <laughs> it's true. You don't want to get killed by a pool table. That sucks.